welcome to another edition of Reckless Eating Shorts, aka We Shorts. I am Matt Zang, going alone here today to take a look at Julian Hard Cider Cherry Bomb. This is 6.99% alcohol by volume. So I saw this in our local liquor place, which is pretty cool. They have a lot of uh, miscellaneous crap. No point in really pointing it out because it is just a little hole in the wall liquor place, but quite expensive. This was $7 for this thing, but the fact that it was a cherry flavored hard cider, I couldn't pass it up. I'm not like a huge cider guy, but every once in a while it's nice. And for some reason I was just on a whim, I decided to get it. So let's go ahead, pop this thing open. First off though, great bottle. Very cool. I'm a kitty cat. Have <laughs> you heard my text sound? And uh, it's very cool, although it does kind of remind me of almost like a Nazi thing. I don't know why I got that, that feeling off of it, uh, but it's American-made Julian California. But awesome, awesome bottle with their eagle up on top. Let's go ahead and pop this thing open. All right, so we got it open. Let's go ahead and pour it out. So there you go. It's exactly the color I was expecting it to be. It's a nice light red. It almost looks like wine to me, but here we go. Let's give it a try. Woo! I, that tastes like wine. I've, I've had, I'm not a big wine guy, but I've had more in the past couple of years because my, uh, my mom is a big fan of wine, so, you know, every once in a while I'll have some with there or something. This really just tastes like wine. <laughs> Let me give it one more try. Oh, yeah. Woo! It was like, you find like kind of like the cheap wines at Ralph's and Stater Brothers and just the market in general. It's kind of what it tastes like. I've had regular hard cider before, and it's really bubbly and delicious. It's very, like, carbonated. This one, though, it's not really carbonated, so maybe I haven't had that many ciders, so maybe they're all like this. It's not very carbonated, and it really, to me, it honestly just has the smoothness of wine. It just tastes like a cherry, strawberry-ish wine, something along those lines. Cool bottle, cool presentation, but to me, I'd almost say just go get a bottle of wine or something instead of doing this thing. I mean, it has the alcohol content, but for something this big, It'd be a lot better for you just to go out and buy the bottle of wine because it'd probably be around the same price, if not just maybe a dollar or two more, and you'd be getting way more. This is more of, I'd say, like, if you just want something that's cool, you want to look like a badass and sip it in the corner. But <laughs> ciders don't really <laughs> insinuate badass out of somebody. So I don't know. I'm kind of mixed on it. I think I'd give it a three out of five map faces because it's interesting. It's decent. But I don't think I'd go out of my way for it, and I definitely would hope that it would cost much less than $7, or $6, whatever the hell it was. And uh, if it was, I'd say this is like a good $4 item. $4, maybe five's pushing it. For the size, though, uh, that's what I would say. And overall, I mean, it's interesting, and if it sounds like something that you would like, go out and give it a try. Check out my awesome shirt. Yeah, it's awesome. Zombie Mega Man. Alright guys, there you go. As always, we'll see you tomorrow. Reckless eating! Hey, hey, hey. Reckless eating.